Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is going to be the part one of Stormblood in Final Fantasy XIV. I literally just finished up uh, Heaven Sword not too long ago, all the patches between that. So, uh, yeah, we're about to jump into Stormblood. Um, I did do my first job mission. Uh, so I got that out the way that that's in the last part of Heaven Sword. So this beginning part right here is literally us jumping into the beginning of Stormblood. I haven't even picked up the quest until right now. Here we go. The question is, how will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Baelsar's wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. <laughs> Pray summon the others at once. Yes, sir. The younger they look, the older they are. That's how it works. These little monsters, these little uh, monsters, the little people, they're like thousands and thousands of years old. General <laughs> Oldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Baelsar's wall. <laughs> Good question. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. As expected. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Baelsar's wall is open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. Of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? As if you have to ask. <laughs> Thanks. It means a lot knowing you'll be there. True. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. I have spent quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. I trust you have no objections? None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion. 
on account of which I mean to stay. It is settled then. Let us each see to our preparations. That's a new one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. All right. Ready, my friend? <laughs> well then, Tataru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. Mistress Yushtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabanya? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, <laughs> if the gods are good. It is but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside it you in the battles pity. to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. Then let us thank you instead. You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. I don't know what it is. Oh, am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship? We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. But my jacket reminds me of, like, Batman. Shores. Revenant's told stands as a testament to that. I'm sure your people will manage in your And like absence. Jim Gordon. I don't know why. Indeed. They have built a new that's home for themselves see. and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kozetsu and I to return to our master. To our home. I know how you feel. It's time I went home too. Though our battlefields be a thousand miles apart, our purpose is one. Let all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the far east, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. <laughs> Take care, you hear me? When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate, together. Just you wait. I should like that very much. Fare you well. I should like that very much. Oh, wait, you mean New World? Oh, I was so confused for a second there. <laughs> Unless if I'm still confused, I'm confused. Great wall. Um, 
on one sec. Oh god. Still running. So I'm, I'm, I'm alt tabbing real quick here. Why do I I don't know why I keep doing this, but I keep constantly uh alt tabbing and going and closing out the thing where I can see all the quests. To kind of like see like where we're at progress wise. I don't know why. Um, where is it? Honestly, though, where is it? One second chat. Here it is. Okay. All right, we're good. <laughs> yes. But you could also apply that to pretty much any game out there. Just think about GTA. I'm glad we're not any NPCs in GTA. Or maybe we are. Who knows? Hmm. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. and I have deep thoughts. I know that. I know that feeling. <laughs> All good. I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood. Storm blood. There it is. Oh man. I'm ready. I am very much ready.
Rob on. But this world is a amazing cool is during player interactions where they gotta be. Oh shit, we're in a completely new area. Oh my god, I forgot that it looks like this. <laughs> I completely forgot that it actually looks like this. Whoa. Well, we're gonna have to get Aether Currents now. What are, uh, yeah. God, I'm being chased. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Here we go. Leshy. I just run, run past them. We're good. We're okay. We got this. Ah, oh, shh. Oh no, I didn't attune. I didn't attune to the new thing, I forgot. Should I go back? Well, I did run by the the porter, so. Crap. How close is it? Oh, okay, well, worst case, I can always go to the Hawthorne hut and then just attune to it next time. Um, what's this? Where is it? For this location. Girabanya. I can't fly. I've lost my wings. Gross. I hate that. God, I feel so slow now. I literally feel so slow. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> this is terrible. This is painful. Oh, uh, okay. Grants further ruin. Okay, so... Hmm. Then that means... Wait, does it only grant us one? for the rune energy drain so yeah let me actually replace these uh deals unexpected damage to target and all enemies nearby with a potency of three 430 for the first enemy and 60 percent less for remaining enemies can only be executed while under the further ruin okay so i'm gonna keep that there instead of fester 430 than that okay that's not bad Ah, leave me alone. Not again. 
Not like this. Mount off. Wait. It's their dialogue. Voice acting. No voice acting. All right. Go into Ralgar's Reach. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I remember the old stories. How the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Ralga's Reach, a holy place and a fitting home for the resistance, for the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there. Men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost. For what could be ours again. Beautiful. Uh, one. Wait, wait, let me attune. Let me, before I forget. I have a feeling we're probably gonna do a dungeon soon. I need to remember to keep attuning to these. Been a while since I did any of these. I hate cat boys. <laughs> That's funny. Their name is I Hate Cat Boys. Shoot, what I, I keep clicking by accident. Hey, yo, hold up. <laughs> hey, hey, get back here. You know what? Actually, let's go beat him up. All right, so that guy, I Hate Cat Boys, is on Genova, uh, the Aether um, data center. So if you want to go after him, no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Unless nobody sees or hears anything. <laughs> hey, yo, hold up. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Black licorice. Nice. Nicoletta Cage, Agnes Rose, Rose Ramil, Delilah, hello, hello. I see that COT uh, company, free company, a whole lot. 
Allow me to welcome you once more to Ralga's Reach, our humble headquarters. My name is Conrad Kemp, and I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. No, no, there's no need for that. They risk their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I, I wanted to, um, I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your loss, huh? Papalimo laid down his life to save us, to give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. But we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises, followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. When Monago told us what had happened, how the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual, by Rolger it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir, to see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Eorzean Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. So that's the way of it, eh? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Of course, Master Kemp. Take all the time you require. Um, Yobex, how often do you go to, uh, Edelshire? Uh, is there gonna be, like, a new area for, uh, I guess, so once I hit 70, there will be a new area that I'll go to? To get new armor? Is that correct? This would be that. Oh, oh. Okay. So do they have a place here then that I guess over here, I'm assuming by those traders. I'm going to check them out real quick. Not yet. Okay. But in the future, I guess. Nice. Now have the Ethernet. 
available. Very good. Very good indeed. Beautiful. <laughs> he just left me in the water, man. A dick, man. They love making you chase them everywhere. Doesn't even matter. I'll take that one. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Speak with Conrad. Conrad. That's the after the after. Thank you all for waiting. We have reached a consensus. I, Conrad Kemp, do hereby accept the Aeorsian Alliance's proposal. You must understand, however, that our cooperation comes with certain caveats. Those caveats being... I take no joy in this, just so you know. Were it within my power, I'd offer you more assistance. But the resistance is far more fragmented than you realize. The men and women in my care belong to but one of many factions. Simply put, I can only speak for the people of Rolga's Reach. Now, I have every intention of appealing to the others, and I expect many will agree, but it will take time, and I cannot guarantee universal support. Understood. I shall see that the Alliance is under no misapprehensions as to your position. Much obliged. But that's not the whole of it. As you can imagine, the loss of those who cast their lot with the Griffin left us short on numbers. Some of our most trusted veterans died at war, and we've had to fill their posts with the young and inexperienced. Frankly, everything's in a right bloody mess. Oh, we'd be more than happy to help you get back on your feet. If we're going to work together, we'll be doing ourselves a favor. Well, there's no shortage of work to be done, that's for sure. We're in dire need of new blood, too. Ishtola and I could lend a hand in the infirmary. From what I saw, they could do with a few more healers. Very well. 
I, for my part, shall return to the Rising Stones. I'm certain there are others among the Scions who would welcome the opportunity to fight for Alamegan liberation. Um, is there anything else we can do to help? I had something else in mind for you, Lot. Monago and Mefred will tell you more. Understood. We won't let you down. It's even <laughs> it's actually worse than what I currently have. That's surprising. Ethic compass and now be in regions. Okay, cool. We can now get that. Uh, there's two quests right here. Is this a friend in need? Friend of a friend in need. I guess we'll pick up both. Do we have any? No, no blue icons here. Or blue quests. Journey to the peaks. Uh, I will do that right after I check where this mission is going. This thing is. <laughs> I actually, uh, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this. <laughs> whatever the hell this thing is. It's so weird. It's like a giant giraffe. Uh, wait, I have a black chocobo? Whoa, since when? What? Wait, what? When did I get a ch black chocobo? Is that the same as my companion? Two, or is that separate? Checking on bees real quick. Uh, okay. Does all look good? They left me. Uh, sure. I'll go do this one.
I hate that thing. That spider thing is gross. be attacked we're gonna be attacked and there it is We have to go over to this little area. I'm gonna queue myself up for some for a dungeon, but if we don't, uh, if we reach one that we have to actually do, that's fine too. I'm only doing this because um, I want to get that final piece, the pants, and then I can take it to the uh, the thing and do a little bit of glamoring real quick. is a giant crocodile and I'm just now seeing it dear god no thank you nope that's a whole lot of nope 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 I always think that those energy sprite things are like an aether current or the wind sprite they look so similar to them Signed, sealed, to be delivered. Oh, of course it's all the way up there. The place where I didn't attune to. <laughs> That's all right, we're about to in a minute. Once we get back up there. Before I do anything, let me do this so that way we don't forget.
an actual cutscene with dialogue, voice dialogue. It is good to see you again, my friends. I hope you are here to tell me you have made contact with the resistance. We are, General. Indeed. Allow me to introduce Monago of Rolga's Reach. At your service, sir. And may I say what an absolute honor it is to stand before the Bull of Alamigo. These are not the blood sands, girl. You and I are but soldiers on a battlefield fighting for the same cause. Uh, as you say, General. <clears throat> on behalf of Commander Kemp of the Alamegan Resistance, I present to you our formal response. Good. I'm glad we've reached an accord. Though I was not aware you had suffered such losses. Aye. Some of our finest took part in the Griffin's doomed assault, and we've been struggling to find new recruits ever since. The massacres cast a pall over the whole resistance, and many who might once have been open to joining us have since thought better of it. After all of the Griffin's false promises, one can hardly blame them. They have no desire to give their lives for a lost cause. We will not lie to them. This is war, and lives will be lost. Yet what we offer is not the fever dream of a madman, but true hope. The people need proof of this, Father. Let us show it to them. I say we stand shoulder to shoulder with our new allies and engage the Garleans in open warfare. The Resistance must demonstrate that they can hold their own against Imperial Regulars. And with our assistance, I am confident they can do just that. If we can achieve even a token victory, I believe it will serve to rekindle the hope of the Alamegan people and inspire them to rise up once more. Aye. Aye. Once word spread that we'd won a battle against the Galleons, I'd wager we'd have new recruits flocking to us from Malms around. The question is, when and where do we strike? I'm glad you asked. I have a plan. Yes, a plan. Man, indeed. Is this an Aether Current one? Let's find out. Indeed, it is. Oh. Uh, I let the magic tech armor to the east end and destroy the Garlean drones. Okay. I can do that. All right. You sense a hostile presence.
We have to go further in this thing. Okay. Okay. Alright. Sounds good. How are you joining, enjoying Final Fantasy so far? I like it. Um, I tend to get, sometimes I feel like I get burnt out with this game, but um, recently, I don't know. I kind of been playing it uh, by year, I guess, to see how it turns out. And I'm trying to be more invested in the story so that way I don't get burnt out. Um, I, I've been doing a lot of like research to kind of like do recaps on like why the story matters and why it's so good and things like that. Like tonight, I'm probably going to, even though I just finished it, I'm going to watch a, a video that explains everything that has happened between Heaven Sword and uh, Stormblood. So that way I have the full, like, if there's anything that I missed for the, I mean, for the most part, I feel like I understand it. Um, but I, I noticed when I, I went back and I watched everything that happened before a realm reborn, everything that happens during a realm reborn, everything that happens, uh, before heaven sword after heaven sword and watching all those recaps, I feel like helped me understand a, a whole lot more um so so yeah it, it definitely can tend to to kind of have that uh that feeling at times where it's like you're doing a lot of the same stuff but I will say also, uh, the way that they've changed how Summoner plays, since I am playing a Summoner, uh, I feel really confident about that. So I, I've been having a lot more fun than I did before. Before, I mean, you'd only like literally, you'd cast like one summon and then it would be basically making sure that your damage over time abilities would stay up on the enemy. Now. Now it's more so you're actually swapping between your summons um, and you're making use of all of them and you're actually doing like damaging uh, abilities. So that's a, like another thing that's kind of like, okay, I, I like I like how this this plays a whole lot more than it did before. So. That's a big factor too, I feel like. I'm having fun with it though. Generally, like I'm enjoying it. So it's nice it's nice to be back. And I feel like right now, like since there's not really anything out and like Final Fantasy is like at such a peak for MMOs, it, it is a great time to like, even though everybody's playing the new content, I don't feel like super left out because there's still such solid content between now and then. So, you don't really get any good moves until Stormblood. Yeah. I noticed like I can't wait to hit 70 because that's when I finally get Bahamut. Um, and then I, I love how the new um, characters look for uh, or the new summons look like they are giant forms of them. Like right now I'm summoning like such a small version but like when i do hit that 90 level seeing the giant uh ifrit 
the giant Titan and the giant Garuda coming in. Ah, oh, oh. that's going to be sick, especially like in games with like uh, either like a raid or like with friends, like when we actually get to do stuff together. It's going to be so cool. Makes me want to do summoner. Yeah. So. I also kind of like, it's gonna, I like generally am interested in like seeing the RP side of it, like um, more of it at least. Like going to, oh, I want to do a night where like when I switch servers and stuff like, okay, there's, hey, there's this giant party going on at this club. Okay, I won't quest tonight. I will go do that. I won't daily tonight. Like, I'll just go hang out, like, whatever it is. Whether it's for the full stream or just for a little. Like, that, that stuff's so cool. The community in Final Fantasy is, like, it's, it's insane. Ah, shit. Can't do that one because I'm in a duty finder. Um, I'm sure we're going to get a pop any minute now, too. I was trying to... <laughs> <laughs> right there, I was trying to get that. Uh, okay, if we can't do that one, then we can at least do the other one. If I can stop being chased by this enemy. Go to the right here. The player made RP places are a lot of fun. 10 to 10 would recommend. Hey, what's going on, Salty Healer? <laughs> nice name. But exactly, yeah. So like I've from everything I see, it's it's so cool. I can't wait to until they, they open up uh um world transfer again. Crystal is the place to be. So I hear. Once it opens, hey, I'm gonna be right there. I will be, I will be logging in. I'll be transferring. I'll be on board. Like, I really hope it's Tuesday or well, Wednesday, because it's overnight I for Tuesday. The peaks of Girabania. silent watchmen that would stand long after we were gone. Just made a crystal alt. We I was about to. Allies to join us in the fight against the Empire. People who had had enough. People who had suffered every possible indignity. Who had been treated like animals. Day after day after day. Such a that's that's my footsteps. <laughs> Not me just blowing into the mic. Uh, do we have a aether? There's one over there. Hopefully we get a pop any minute now. I just want to get enough points so that way I have that. And uh, yeah, we can get those boots. And then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, What's it called? Um, outfit stuff. Glamoring. Set up some new glamour pl plates. We clubbing right now? I mean, if there was a club. 
Here we go. I don't know of anything on Aether. There's a few open right now. In Aether, though? Do you have an Aether alt, Yobex? Uh -huh. Or are they across servers? I do actually. Well, if you're down, I'm down, chat's down, I think we could make it happen. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, it's a rabbit. When did that turn into a rabbit? Oh, it's because I'm level, I'm uh, down level. Been a while for this one. So I have abilities I can't even use. That's funny. There's a few outfits I can set up. I need to find a, uh, a pair of shorts. Not like super high shorts. Uh, cause I, I need that for my uh, Hawaiian shirt outfit too. We'll do a little bit after this. Once I get my, uh, my pants. I'll do like a, all right, we'll see. It's 10 o'clock right now. I woke up, well, well, last night I went to sleep at 3 a.m. And then today I woke up at like nine o'clock. I'm like, my eyes were so tired earlier, but I think because I pushed through it, um, that like I'm okay, but they're st still definitely tired. Basically, I won't stay up super late, but I can push through for like another like uh, hour or two. And then, of course, I'll be I'm going to be on tomorrow as well. At some point, probably in the morning. I like going on the weekends. I like going live before 12 p.m. because 12 p.m. is like the uh, prime time where everybody starts their stream or like starts to. I'd have to boost my alt though. Wow. It's a lot of level. You can only boost to 80, right? It's interesting. Surprised they don't like offer like a, I don't know, uh, half price, like boost halfway, but I don't know how easy that would be. It's interesting that it's two separate things too, that it's, it's, uh, you have a boost for your story, but then there's also a boost for your level I always feel like they would go like hand in hand like hey if you're gonna boost past heaven sword maybe you should drop them at like level 60 but I don't know that's just me
Damn. I got hit a little bit. Bada bing. The crazy thing is that I keep forgetting is there's like so many, there's so many jobs to try out too. So I'm just like, holy crap. Like I could go samurai, I go ninja. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that's that's what I think is great. Um, that you everything can be done on one character, and that's where like I don't have the problem where um, technically like you know like outfits and like mounts and things like that. Normally, if if it was, you know, it, I mean it is stuck to one character. But if it was stuck to one character and you could only play one class, I would be like, what the hell? But in this game, I mean, honestly, you really only want to have one character. You can, well, you can make alts, obviously. And like, oh, I'll focus these jobs on this server, but then I'm gonna go to X server and focus on these jobs for that server. Like you could do that essentially, but you don't have to, you can stick to one, so it's it's nice for that. I, it, it did take me a bit, like, just from other MMOs that I've played, to kind of, like, put that into perspective. Um, because it's, it's already such a long, long process for all of that, so, um, I mean, in reality, personally, if I was to ever make an alt, like, once I finished the story one time, like, if I ever made an alt on, when I'm on Crystal and I wanted to make somebody on Aether, then in that case, that's where I would create a character, but then I would max out, uh, one class, you know? So that way I at least have one and I'd probably get like the story boost too. Um, Cause you, you would really wouldn't want to go through all that again. Unless if you really like that's what you actually run to do, then that's of course that's your uh, choice. So we got two more parts, three more parts left.
snowball. Should we be fo It looks like they're focusing the big boss, so. Alright. I'm focusing the boss. Big man. Oh god. Oh god. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Couldn't we have technically rezzed him? We could have rezzed him. Wait, is he alive again? Oh, wait, wait, he's alive. Oh, they did res him. Okay, good. Whew. I thought that they pulled him out. I'm being chased. Help, I'm not a tank. I look like a tank, but I'm not a tank. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm not a tank. What the hell? Now you're a tank, apparently. Oh my god. I'm the summoner. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Ah, oh, shit, shit. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Heels, heels. I need heels. Mercy, mercy. He's right there. Come on, guys. He's almost dead. What happened? There we go. Nice. Whew. That was scary. This is a little sketchy. Finally, you look like a summoner, too. I'm not wearing just like normal clothes. Hmm. I need a drink after this. I need a drink.
weird not having Astral Impulse. Such a nice ability. It's very nice. It feels very good. Good indeed. Good talk. This song is like, the music is so peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> Yet we're, uh, fighting like crazy. Killing tons of mon monsters. There she blows. Snowclops. <laughs> We almost done this area. Yeah, it looks like it. Almost. We'll need to go through that way. There it is. What's your, um, astrologin, right, Yobex? That's a, a healer, right? So you mainly heal? Yes, sir. How do you like that? You save, you save so many lives. Very fun. Is it like, are there AOE healers and like, and I've done a little bit of scholar healing before. Um, but is it like AOE healers and uh, passive like damp, uh, over time healers, I guess? Or is it like, do all healers generally play the same or do they have kind of like their own specialty? to oblivion. Shield or pure healers? Uh, pure is just what they call healers with regens. Okay. I think I understand. Fenrir. The very interesting version of Fenrir. They all play fairly the same though. Sage is our first healer that you can heal your tank with the damage you do. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. That's interesting. I 
I think the first healer I would actually go. Uh, Bard, right? What is... Bard is what? Wait, is Bard a Or would it, uh, Archer becomes Bard, right? Or is that not a healer? Or Dan Dancer is another cool thing. Bard, um, I'm trying to think, uh, isn't there Archer? What does Archer become? Right? I thought they were, uh, not a bard. Can't remember now. Oh, Archer becomes bard. Okay, yeah. But is bard a DPS? Range DPS, I guess? For some reason, I thought bard was a healer. Oh, it's range physical. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that it was a healer. Take my commendation. But back in the day, LB3 was an AOE raise. Oh. Left button through. Hmm. And I go to, so here's my plan. I'm going to go to this thing and in this quest attune to this. So that way I can come back when I do questing again. And then we are going to, uh, do a little bit of, um, glamoring. Go in here. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm going to do this. Pairs looking good. Looking good. I'll do this anyways. So I might have to if I want to do uh here all oh, yes. Wait a minute. Wait, I just thought of something. You have to sacrifice the the piece of gear to become a glamour set, right? So if I wanted to make this a glamour set anyways, I would have to sacrifice it or whatever it is. Yeah. Or you can manually glamour items. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to keep wearing this until it's not as convenient. Yeah. I guess I'll keep wearing this until I get uh, better gear. And then once I get that, then I'm just going to glamour it. Because I really like the way that this looks. But I can still set up another set. Because um, I know I have some stuff. Anyways, so... I'm trying to think. Uh, right, so first thing we need to do, I want to get the boots for this. Black Shroud, I think. No. 
standalone? No. Uh, uh, the Dravania. Little Shrier. All right, I'm making this the next part of the uh, playthrough because we're not really doing any more questing at the moment. So we're going to be doing a little bit of glamoring and see what other stuff we do. Uh, we are going to these four people. That's what it was. Up here through these doors. Let me grab the uh, the shoes. Summoner, summoner, there it is. He boots. Thank you. Throw the boots on. Beautiful. Fantastic. Uh, now we got to dye everything black. Even though I'm not wearing a black, black hat at the moment. Uh, whoops. Uh, dye. And finally, beautiful, fantastic. Uh, okay, yeah, that all looks good right there. Do I have enough for a ring, the left ring? Right now my left ring is crap. Uh, no, nah, I don't, I don't, that's okay. All right, let's head back to Limsa Lominsa. Bada bing, bada boom. And we out. And we made it. Uh, hold on for... I'm going to stand here for a minute. Oops. I'm going to go grab a drink.